Hey, it's time for the June Keto Crate. Let's dig in. Welcome to the Radical Geek YouTube channel. It is time for the June unboxing of the Keto Crate. This is a monthly subscription box that we have subscribed to to get snacks for our family. And every week I like to do, every week, every month, I like to do a big breakdown of the ingredients and talk about what I think about the products in the box. So let's dig in. Let's see. As per usual, a coupon for $120 off of Green Chef. So, ice chips berry mix. Uh, so we won't be opening these on this channel because I will not break the seal. I have a dog and while I'd like to think that he wouldn't get a hold of anything and we would be very, very careful and not accidentally drop one on the ground or something like that. I would just worry. However, I have seen a lot of other YouTubers enjoy the ice chips, and this one is berry mix. Uh, so we'll be giving this off for donation somewhere. Uh, let's see. Love good fats. Let's uh, deep dive this one. I guess I could go through the ingredients on the ice chips. Uh, I, I feel like it's because I know a lot of people really love them and it's xylitol, I just feel like it's kind of a waste of our time because, you know, I'll never be able to give you an unbiased uh, review uh, or anything like that because it has xylitol, which is toxic to dogs. And as you guys know, I have a cute and adorable spoiled little rotten Pomeranian. So I, I just, I don't know. I would feel like I, I, I can't really give it a justice here. But all right, real quick, we'll talk about it. Uh, it has xylitol, certified organic natural flavors, natural flavors, citric acid, and cream of tartar, and calcium stearate. So, it's sweetener and some artificial and some natural flavors. I almost said artificial flavors. So, I don't know. I mean, it probably tastes good because it's a big pile of sweetener. But, uh, if you like sweetener, our paper clips are in the way. Mm. Ultima, it's orange. I'm so thirsty today. And on top of being exhausted after coming back from the con, and I didn't do any exercise today, I've been a bump of the log. I'm almost ready for bed. Craziness, but still definitely extremely tired and. It is what it is. I ate a bunch of food, too. Who knows what that's all about. Anyways, love good fats. I'm also distractible. So, fats blend, which is roasted al almonds, peanuts, coconut oil, and MCT, soluble corn fiber, fava bean protein crisp, fava bean protein isolate tapioca starch, Dark chocolate flavored coating, chicory root fiber, palm kernel and palm oil, brown rice protein, cocoa powder processed with alkali, uh, sunflower lecithin and salt, chicory root fiber, dried cranberries, which contains cranberries, sugar, sunflower oil, and natural flavor, sea salt, glycerin, citric acid, Sunflower lecithin and sunflower tocopherols and stevia leaf extract. I'm just going to say, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to eat it. So hopefully someone else in the family who is less picky about ingredients tastes it. And, I'll, and if they like it, I'll share that they like it. But otherwise, you can assume that we probably took a bite of it and threw it out, which is a shame. I hate to do that with foods, but... 
Yeah. Not impressed. Oh, well, we can do a product review on this because I'm drinking it right now. I think it's fair to say that we like Ultima. Uh, it's the electrolyte hydration mix. Uh, what I so it's twofold. What I like about it is that a it tastes good and b it has light electrolytes, but it's not. It's not like a relight or an element where it has the whole gram of salt. I love them, but I can't drink them all day long. Whereas I feel like when I have the Ultima, I can basically drink it all day long if I want to. Uh, so it's nice to kick up my water, but I'm also not going crazy overboard. So I, I really like it, kind of like a Kool-Aid, but only uh, better. So electrolytes lightweight electrolytes so i have 100 percent obviously i recommend them let's see genius gourmet keto snack chips which actually don't feel too uh, horribly crumbled inside so that's good and let's see what's in there keto snack chips oh and it's spicy nacho flavor we might open these and do a product review on these because uh, it sounds good unless i don't like the ingredients then we're just not going to and we're going to hope that the uh, 19 year old eats them nice they're going to move out on me and then who am i going to give all my terrible snacks to let's see we'll figure something out uh let's see medium chain triglycerides which contains modified palm kernel oil Protein blend, which is soy protein, uh, concentrate, sodium caseinate, whey protein concentrate. Then it has tapioca starch, water, soy fiber, salt, whey powder, natural flavors, potato starch, and dehydrated potato. Dehydrated vegetables, which contain tomato, onion, jalapeno peppers, and garlic. Sunflower lecithin, milk torula yeast, sodium diacetate, high oleic sunflower oil, autolyzed yeast extract, citric acid, paprika, malic acid, spices, acacia gum, bacterial culture, spice extractive, uh, paprika and turmeric, and microbial enzymes. All right. All right. I'm probably not willing to eat these. That's a couple different soy products there that I'm just not too fond of. So, uh, soy is, uh, it's not, the, it's inflammatory, plain and simple. That's all there is to it. All right, what's next? All right, fat snacks, almond flour crackers, the cheddar kind. So, let's see. Uh, I usually don't have any issues with some of these, but let's find out. Almond flour, egg white, cheddar cheese, which is made from cultures and milk, salt, enzymes, and annatto for color. Butter, which is cream, uh, and, and coconut flour, flax seed. Parmesan cheese, which contains cultured milk, enzymes, and salt. Uh, Aluminum-free baking powder water, xanthan gum, sea salt, and then almond flour uh, with uh, paprika, garlic, and rosemary flavor. Seems good to me. I'm fine to eat it. I haven't been reading the nutrition context. Let's uh, start with that again. With this one, so it's two servings for a container. That's, that's fine. I might say it's really one, but uh, it's actually quite a lot of crackers in there, so I'll I'll allow it. Ooh, I just shook the desk and made the whole thing blurry. Sorry about that, friends. Uh, let's see, two servings. A serving size is 17 crackers, approximately, or 30 grams. 130 calories, 11 grams of fat, 5 grams carbs, uh, three of which are fiber, and less than one is sugar, which probably comes from all of the almond flour and the uh, spices. Uh, so not too bad. And uh, Let's see, I said three fiber. So two net carbs, if you're a net carb person, I prefer to do total carbs, five is perfectly acceptable. 
and 5 grams of protein. Fat snacks, almond flour crackers. Seems all right to me. Maybe that's the winner for a product review later. Let's go back to these keto chips. Just, you know, serving is one bag, 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, 4 carbs, and 8 grams protein. There. So, really not terrible on the carbs, but again, bad inflammatory ingredients. So, eh, we're still not interested. So, oh, I thought these were candies from the package. This is Chipmunk Lemon Poppy Seed Keto Cookie. There, I'll get it for you right one time. So, well, I like lemon poppy seed. Let's see. Get my act together. Just because I was on vacation going hard doesn't mean I gotta do sloppy video. But we are doing sloppy video, so it is what it is. And the information is stuck in this seam. So now we gotta rip at the package. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Ha. Huh. But in the KN quality. Okay, nutrition facts. Uh, it's one cookie, which is all that's in the package. So let's see. Calories, 190 calories for one cookie. Uh, total fat is 16 grams. Uh, 20 total carbs. Uh, three of which are fiber. And uh, total sugars of one. So let me see, and 15 grams of allulose. It's quite a lot of allulose. And uh, protein is 5 grams. Uh, let's see, the ingredients are almond flour, allulose, butter, which is made from cream and milk, eggs, lemon juice, lemon extract, monk fruit extract, salt, cognac powder, poppy seeds, dried lemon peel, psyllium husk powder, baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, plant fibers, which are made from lemon peel, uh, wait, lemon pea protein, oh, lemon pea protein, it's really teeny tiny, so you guys just give me a minute, uh, Plantain and Norwegian, I can't read it, sorry, uh, Norwegian something, uh, vitamin F, let's get the old trusty magnifier out, uh, it's too many things and it just got on the, on the yellow with kind of a brown print, it just can't quite do it, alright, so we'll get our trusty magnifier out, oh, okay, Norwegian kelp, that was the ingredient that I could not read. And then it goes to vitamin E. And vitamin E. And then uh, the mixed tocopherols and monk fruit extract. So no shock there. Nothing. It's not terrible. It's not great. There's some questionable things, but nothing egregious. Uh I'm not a big fan of cognac flour. There's nothing really terrible. I eat cognac noodles, so, you know, big whoop. But I don't like the uh, pea protein. I find that, listen, maybe it's in my head, but I find the stuff with pea protein and it sometimes gets a taste that I don't like, which is weird because it's not all the time. It's just in some products and usually baked products. Like, uh, there, I, I think that some keto bricks have pea protein in it and I don't have a problem with the taste there, but it doesn't have the almond meal, almond flour stuff in it. So I don't know if it's the mix together or what. I probably should try some sometime. I just haven't been that invested in it. Let's see. Now we're into a big poofy package. So... Uh, pork rinds, Southern Recipe Small Batch Spicy Dill Pork Rinds. So, it's pork rinds, which we love. But let's see, are these pork rinds that I'm going to be irritated at? Or 
and then eventually anyways because it's worth it let's see uh southern recipe small batch spicy dill uh four servings per container it's two it's two uh, okay so amount per serving is 70 uh total fat is 4.5 carbs one carb and protein of eight grams there's your answer let's see spicy dill pork rinds contain pork rinds sunflower oil salt maltodextrin veggie so oh vinegar vinegar solids ah garlic powder sugar malic acid citric acid modified food starch dill dextrose and canola oil and then natural flavors and acetic acid what are they doing they're ruining like the best snack ever pork rinds why are they adding all that stuff you don't need it pork and good proves that time and time again uh their stuff is delicious man their dill pickle flavor pork rinds are off the hook so i'm just saying Southern batch, small batch, mm, it's a fail. Catalina Crunch Vanilla Cream Sandwich Cookies. You guys, these are freaking delicious and they are horrible. They may as well be regular cookies. Uh, they are delicious. Uh, let's see. Serving size is two cookies. Calories are 90. Total carbs are 11. Dietary fiber, three. Total sugars, two with three grams of allulose and protein is four. Palm fruit oil, pea protein, allulose, rice flour, chicory root fiber, cane sugar, tapioca flour, xanthan gum, natural flavors, sunflower lecithin, baking powder, sea salt, and stevia extract. May as well be a regular cookie. So, I don't know where they come off making these and calling it keto, but it's horrible. Ingredients, I will say that I've tasted one. It says keto friendly uh, right on the package, and it's actually not keto nothing. That's correct. I'm using the terrible grammar and everything for emphasis. So, but I have tasted them before, and I will say they are absolutely delicious. But of course, because they're the opposite of keto cookies. They're not keto at all. Just dumping in a little bit of stevia into the mix doesn't suddenly make things keto. So, unfortunately, delicious. And here's some crinkle, crinkle. Is it me, or does it feel like there's not as many items in here as we sometimes get? Maybe it's me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. I actually thought last month's box was spectacular, and then now this mentions right back to crap. Well, not total crap, because we got the Ultima, and so that I'm excited about. But, uh, in fact, I'm keeping it separate. This feels like a little skimpy this month, and the price didn't go down, that's for sure. So, let me know what you think. If you have any subscriptions, let me know about it. You know, my family don't have to be keto like me, so they do uh, skirt the lines a little bit more often than I do, which is why we do indulge in things like this. Uh, it's a better option in general. So uh, I'd love to hear what other people prefer to do. Quite frankly, sometimes I think like, oh, I should just make all our snacks. But you know what? I'm tired. I work a full-time job too. So um, we, we're, pretty we're pretty spoiled. So happy Monday. Welcome back. And I hope that you enjoyed our live stream last night and that you can enjoy the rest of the videos uh, this coming week. So. Oh, and wait until you see this Sunday's live stream. It's a big surprise. It was a surprise to me. I'm not sure I'm as excited as I should be, but I will be excited to share with you. So, I will see you later. Bye-bye.